on YouTube. I hope everybody's doing absolutely fantastic. If you guys haven't figured it out. I've mentioned it before. We picked up an incubator. We're gonna unbox it in a second, take a look at it. Not entirely sure how this video is gonna pan out. Kev helped me out as usual. You always complain we get enough camera time, so we'll just... uh, yeah. Camera time. Okay. So, uh, you know, I drive a Honda Accord, so I had to <laughs> Kevin's help with the pickup truck. With that being said, I want to tell a little story here. Um which I kind of touched on with, I guess, the video that's posting tonight about the show. Kind of like just helping people out and doing our thing. Uh, before you get into that, guys, we do have some nice pairings this week that I kind of want to talk about. I'll go through them quickly. We got our uh, Clown Pied paired to our Super Enchi Double Head Clown Pied. Uh, they're locked up. That should be one of the, almost one of the final locks for them. We got our Freaking Nature Proven Out locked right there with a big old normal girl to try to prove that out. We did throw in our pinstripe to our pinstripe clown. We threw in with our stranger leopard clown. No dice on that so far, guys, which is kind of strange, right? Let's go over here real quick around this mama loop here. Uh, we did continue to pair up our OD vanilla clown to our pastel redhead head clown. They're not locked right now. They were locked earlier. Um, we did pair up our normal pie to our Ozzy pie, which I'm happy about. Nice pairing in there. We did another pairing with our pastel banana edgy pie to our city pie and then that one girl that clown girl um i don't know if i talked about it on youtube but i talked about it on the patreon we had our normal clown girl that's 27 millimeter follicles no visual locks whatsoever so i did throw in our odyb fire leopard pie head clown in with her because i figured it really maybe either make some really nice double heads or a really nice some really nice clowns that are head pie okay and they are locked right here which i'm very 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 happy about that so hopefully get another clutch out of him and then Without further ado, something happened that I'm absolutely ecstatic about, okay? We've been trying to pair our yellow belly paint boy to a few of our girls. It just hasn't been happening, okay? He sucks. And ironically, when one of the clowns, one of the clowns who wanted to pair him to is at 27 millimeter follicles, and we throw her in with that boy there, and they lock, he decides to figure it out. So I don't want to mess with him too much. But that right there, guys, you see the right there? That is a yellow belly paint Locked up with a clown female, obviously, yes. sitting at 12 millimeter follicles. Very happy about that, guys. Absolutely excited about that. And I will say, I did do this. I picked up that Wookiee. Oh, let's see if we do it on camera. Ready? These will sit. I want to stay with Uncle Kev. Come here. Sit. Sit. Down. Down. I don't need... Down. No treats, Dad. All okay. that, all that training. <laughs> hey, fucking dick. <laughs> he <laughs> just, he just did it. Believe he, me, he, he just, just did it. He's just an asshole. He's, he is me in dog form. And <laughs> Shelby's my best friend. All right, anyway, guys. So we have that Wookie Leopard Clown, and he's about I'm go from Matt Foley. He's about I don't know, nine months old now. About six hundred fifty grams. So I said, fuck it. I threw him in here with our banana head clown. Now earlier in the morning. On Patreon, I made the video. He was kind of like almost locking up with her. But I threw him in there just to see what would happen, all right? I'm not expecting much out of it. Getting friendly. Yeah, fuck it. Right? You got to meet the girls eventually. With that being said, guys, let me tell a story about this real quick. Now, I've had almost no interaction, actually zero interaction with Mike Wilbanks. And uh, I've been very interested in these incubators for quite some time. I knew the Sea Serpent Hotbox over there uh, we used last season. But this thing right here, for all uh, intents and purposes, is... Is state of the art, all right? Now, Matt, I picked the Wookiee arm, he actually has one in his house. Now, I took a look at it, kind of fell in love with it. So, with that being said, last week on vacation, we did fairly well with uh, the expo, which you guys found out by last YouTube video. And I figured let's take that money and reinvest it back into the business, right? Upgrade our incubator. So, I actually messaged uh, Mike Wilbank's company on their website. Now, you know, they had like those drop down thing, the messages, you get like message, it's automated. So I met certain message, I had a couple questions about the incubator, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and he, don't be wrong, he hooked me up. But um, someone messaged me back, and at first I was like, all right, it's automated, and it wasn't automated. I gave him my phone number, I said, hey, listen, I have a couple questions, somebody give you a call. Within about 40 seconds, my phone was ringing. Uh, the caller ID said Mike Wilbanks. Now in my head, I'm like, this is just an employee, all right? Um, so like, hey, what's going on, Devin? You know, this is Mike Wilbanks, and my, you guys know how I am. I was like, okay. I was like, Mike Wilbanks? They're like, yeah, this is Wilbanks. <laughs> right. So a guy that owns, like, let's be honest, a multi-million dollar operation. For him to answer his own messages the day or two days before Tinley, because I know he was there, right? 
and to answer questions about this incubator, I was instantly sold on it. Just, just oh, that customer service alone, that hospitality, his, him being friendly, him answering the questions, him being positive and upbeat about you know breeding ball pythons, so on and so on. So I did order this one. Now this one is uh, the 450 model, I believe they call it. It's like, it's like, I think it's the Will Banks shit, WH450, I believe. It holds up to 35 tubs, all right? Um, there's one slightly bigger than this, actually much bigger than this, holds 64 tubs, but my understanding is the size of, a, like, size of that door, essentially, all right? Um, people say they can't fit it indoors, so I was like, I'm not fucking doing that. So without further ado, I did pick this thing up. I do have uh, our shitty knife here. You gotta sharpen it. It was commandeered. So let's cut this open as best as we can. Uh, looks like a nice mess so people can eat them and shit them out and cost me more money at the vet. Stop. Hey, almost got cut. Get out of the way, stupid. Yeah. Hold the gun, not the knife. No, I'll touch my gun eating it. Fuck. I think it's one of the only videos I ever done with my gun actually on my thing. I know, I was gonna point to it and go, look, Stop. it's over there. Yeah, but then, then YouTube will shut me down because, you know, God forbid you Patreon, vi Patreon video only. What? Patreon, Patreon video. Only? It's the Patreon only video. I like making the Patreon video better, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, yeah. I just run a muck in your mind or Paul, oh, I love you. This thing's pretty well, man. Yeah, pretty good, lie. pretty good. I'm a little concerned about that, too. Please don't, please don't, Jack. What's gonna happen is... That's Chris, Christmas, Christmas morning here. It's fucking great. I'm gonna try to be gentle. Let's just let this be quiet. Oh, fuck it. That was a good shot. Oh, bam, right? Almost, right. In the Almost in the garbage. This thing is fucking huge, man. It's big. This is much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Nice. Ugh. Where's the front? Keep going. There's no front. Oh. <laughs> it's on the other side. All right, let's spin this bitch. This thing's huge, Jeff. I want to open it up. Yep. You know what? If you want to box it, oh, I'll get this thing fired up, and then we'll really talk about it. Let's take a look at this thing. There's humidity in here. Wow. Let's see if this is All right. All right, almost. Almost, Kevin. Yeah. Almost. Let's open this thing up for the first time in here. Take a look. Now, if you guys don't know, this incubator actually, um, hey, drop that. Yeah. This incubator here is actually, has a self-contained thermostat and heating. Has a self-sustained thermostat heating uh, apparatus in here, as well as a cooler. It has a lot of shelves. Let's open up. I'm really excited. I'm dressed this way. Yeah, it's fucking hot. It is. Oh, I'll tell you right now. Why was the Batman? That like door it. is like a refrigerated door. It is. It is, it, it, it is not. Yeah, you know, without a respect, sea surfer, not even close. Insulation. Look at this thing, man. Holy shit. I'm drifting. Yeah, like Let's grab one of our tubs. This is the one I have sitting here for uh, the first stranger class. It's not how she's ever going to light it. So. so I guess you could put three here. You know, it's like three. Yeah. Put three on each level, stack them, take the shelves out if you really want to. That's not bad at all. So it says it holds up to 35. Um, one, two, three. You do that, right? One, that two, three. Up, yeah. You know? It says it holds up to 35. Um, clutches, all right. Which, let's be honest here, guys. I'm shooting for around 30 to 40 clutches this season, and realistically, even last season we hit 18 clutches. And even in that incubator, the most I ever had at one time was around 13. So I think I'll be fine with this for quite some time. And even Mike Wilbanks brought a point where if it gets to the point where I've outgrown this one, you just get another one stacking next to each other. Okay, it's really that simple. But I'm telling you right off the bat, guys, I'm gonna do a full review of this incubator. I'll even compare this one to the Sea Serpent one in a couple videos. Uh, but as of now, guys, just wanted to show this off. Very excited about it. And I'm, honestly, first impression right off the bat, this thing looks fucking state of the art, man. New toy, new toy. What do you think, Kev? I like it. This thing looks absolutely. Jealous weird. now, I just bought my Sea Serpent. And now I gotta, <laughs> gotta, look, at this, now I gotta look at this thing. That thing is sick. The only question is where we're we gonna put it now. 
You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna put it right over here. I wanna, I'm gonna move some of this stuff down. I'm gonna stick it right over here. I don't really want it near the door because diesel has a habit of running into it. I really don't want it near the window either. So I think we might put it in between this, the 1065 and the Hassan match right there. What do you think? Slide Kevin? everything down. Yeah, what do you think? Slide everything down. Yeah. Tap the garbage can right here. Like, it can't. Or airtime can. Like, like, like Vano White. Point the things. Yep, oh, yep, yep, oh, all right, there garbage we go. Garbage can, window. Yep. Garbage can, move that hatching rack down. I think put it right over there, Kev. What do you think? Definitely. I think that's where we're gonna put this thing. Let's get this thing set up, let's move these things over. You know what we'll do? We won't even end the video right here. Let's clean up this fucking shit. The diesel's eating it. Yeah, because diesel's gonna cost me more vet bills. And that, with all due respect to him, I, I don't get mad because um, when well, he doesn't have his glasses on, he is 78 <laughs> years old and he can't see what he's doing. It's a lot like a mole. Um, anyway, so let's get this thing set up. Let's put it over there just for shit. This is why I do the videos by myself. <laughs> so we'll get it set up right there, guys, and I'll give you guys a little brief of what it's going to look like. Let's get this shit cleaned up, Kev. We'll move that over, and we'll see what the new room looks like, right? I think this thing might stick around for a little bit of a backup, but we'll see what happens. Do not do that. All right, stand by, guys. All right, so I'm dripping in sweat. Kevin nearly died. We did move some stuff around. And we would like to take your opinion on what you guys think. Now, before, like I said, I do have my other incubator over there. And I know my boy Will wanted to pick it up for me. I might keep it for a while just as a backup. You know, you can't go wrong with a backup. But check it out. We put it right there. All right. So we moved these two shelves down. I used to have my garbage can right there. I guess the garbage can I'll put near the entrance over there now. It's just a garbage can, for Christ's sakes. We fit it in there perfectly well. All right. I like the way it looks. I did pull out the 1065 a little bit, so it's kind of a little more flush. I keep them a little bit pulled back there. I kind of like the way it looks, guys. I'm not going to lie. I plugged it in. I turned it on. And I set it to 88 degrees. Now we're going to see if it heats up to 88 degrees, see where it lands on. It's saying it's reading at 73 right now. And, oh, look at the reflection, Kev. I think one of those mirrors. Oh, you're sure, huh? Yeah. Anyway, um, so we're going to see what happens. I, I know Will did tell me, Mr. Sorry, Mr. Will. Mr. Will Banks yes. did tell me they have to calibrate them, some of them, so I do have my sensor pushed in there, and I have that in there. We're going to let this thing heat up. We're going to let it maintain temperature for a while. Relax. Okay. I'm getting a break. Um, um, we're going to let it maintain temperature for a little bit before we put any eggs in there, and thank God we have no eggs in there. So today is, what, what's today, Kim? Tuesday? Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday the 22nd. So we're going to let it sit for like five or six days, make sure we maintain temperature before we put any eggs in there. Now, obviously, if we do get eggs from the girl who posted the eggs two days ago, then we'll probably put it in the Sea Serpent uh, hot box just to make sure we're good. But other than that, though, guys, pretty happy. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty good right there. Really happy about that. Like I said, we're going to do a nice full review. Right? It looks good. I'm fucking psyched, guys. Listen, as always, appreciate you watching. As always, can't do pretty much anything without Kevin. So with that being said, love you guys. Paul, we hate you. Be safe. Watch, Watch the six. six. There you go, baby.